to take a look at this, the, the severe threat has ended in the Metroplex, uh, even though Collin County technically is still under the watch. So are you in Ellis County and Hill County, but uh, uh, your severe threat has come to an end here in these locations. There's the line of thunderstorms. There it is. And there it goes. So we're it's out of here now. There's our rain at 11 o'clock. Everything's shifting to the east. That doesn't mean overnight we won't see a, a rumble of thunder or a little bit of spotty rain, but the severe weather threat has come to an end. The cold front moves through about 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. So uh, tonight, tomorrow morning, these are the low temps. Uh, warmer than normal, but certainly we were in the 60s and low 70s this morning. We're going to be a lot cooler than that tomorrow morning, but again, still warmer than the normal low of 52. Dallas 58, 56. Seven at Fort Worth, 56 in Gainesville, 60 in Athens, and 59 in Granbury. Here's 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Cold front comes through, but look at that. I don't have a sunny day tomorrow. We could see some peaks of sun here or there, but mostly cloudy skies prevail as we head through the day tomorrow. Highs tomorrow. Today we're in the upper 70s to lower 80s. Highs tomorrow, middle to upper 60s. 60, 67 in Dallas, 66 in Fort Worth, 65 in Denton, 65 in Mineral Wells, 67 in Terrell, also in uh, Waxahachie, 68 in Hillsboro tomorrow. Now, talking about the eclipse for just a moment, uh, one week from today, and a lot can change in a week, we all know that, but the, the forecast has been extremely consistent, you know, from 14 days in advance. We're still looking at a lot of cloud cover when the partial eclipse begins at 12, 20, 23 next Monday. Total eclipse 142. Still a lot of cloud cover and 100 uh, percent. The totality will last for four minutes. This is at DFW. The partial eclipse ends at 302. I'm still looking at a lot of cloud cover, so I have a lot of cloud. And when you look at the path and you look at the different models, we're going to have an upper level disturbance uh, in the southwestern portion of the United States next Monday. Those are notorious for keeping a lot of moisture around, for keeping a lot of clouds around. And here's the path of totality right through the Dallas Fort Worth area and then off into the north or northeastern part of the United States and then eastern Canada. But when you look at the cloud cover here, this is the European model. I have a lot of cloud cover here across Dallas Fort Worth and across a big chunk of the path. And when you look at the American model, I mean, it's just really, really cloudy across a big chunk of the United States. And when you look at the 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 again, the current odds of favorable viewing conditions, it's only 15 percent. I mean, look at the cloud cover that we have here right along. This is the center. This is the center path of totality. I mean, it's just it's not looking good for us at all. So hopefully this systems, these systems, it speeds up, it slows down, it falls apart. Something happens that changes that forecast. But right now, I mean, the forecast, I love it when a forecast is consistent. But I hate it that this one has been that consistent. So with all of that said, my forecast for tonight, the scattered uh, showers and a few embedded thunderstorms will end dry, cooler by morning. 56 is the low tonight during the day tomorrow. Mostly cloudy skies, windy, dry and cooler. A lot of cloud cover tomorrow, a high temperature of 65 degrees. There's the next 14 days after the rain tonight. I have nothing but sunshine in my forecast through Saturday. Rain returns Sunday, just in time for the eclipse on Monday, and then another chance of rain Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, until we dry out the following Friday and Saturday with another chance of rain on Sunday and Monday.